people who, who might imagine that this is a, a recent set of warnings from you need to take a look at what you were saying in 2006, uh, where you were talking about where uh, carbon dioxide levels might be in 50 years if nothing was done to improve the situation. Let's take a quick look at the clip from uh, An inc Inconvenient Truth. When some of these children who are here are my age, here's what it's going to be in less than 50 years. You've heard of off the charts. <laughs> Within less than 50 years, it'll be here. Mr. Vice President, a scary chart. Um, where are we now on that chart regarding carbon dioxide emissions? Well, to give you a, a, a comparison to make those lines meaningful, this much uh, on the coal side, uh, has been was associated in the last ice age with having a mile of ice over your head where you're located right now. Uh, uh, several times that much on the warm side would lead to the possibility that he, this planet would not be inhab uh, inhabitable by human beings. And we are already at 417 parts per million. That compares to 280 parts per million before the Industrial Revolution, 260 uh, before the Agricultural revolution, and we're on the, on the way up uh, continually. Uh, and, and those two lines you saw in that graph, they, they show the, the lockstep relationship between CO2 and temperature. Uh, last year was the hottest year uh, ever measured with instruments. The, the hottest seven years were the last seven years. We've now seen temperatures uh, 125 degrees and above. We've seen the the, the heat index reach 165 degrees in some places, the combination of heat and humidity. Uh, and that is why there are so many areas that are now in danger of becoming literally unlivable, where human beings can't survive for more than two or three hours outdoors. And that's why a lot of them are already migrating. There, last year, there were four times as many climate refugees uh, as there were all the refugees from wars and conflicts. We got a lot of them on the southern border uh, of Texas uh, and, and of the U.S. And, and Mexico, and they didn't come from Mexico. They came from Central America, where, where uh, like m many areas in the tropics and subtropics, the combination of these elevated temperatures and droughts uh, and rain bombs from the disruption of the water cycle are, are driving people away from their homes because they don't have anything to eat.